And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted fella. No, I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I could not let this day go by without a mention of George Carlin, who, uh, who died at uh, age 71 over the weekend. He... Uh, He'd been a guest on this program, and uh, I think I interviewed him over time about six times. Uh, but put simply, uh, I couldn't do what I do if George Carlin uh, didn't do what he did, which included, what you may or may not know, getting arrested several times for obscenity. You, can you imagine that, being a comedian and being taken off stage in handcuffs? He did that. Letty Bruce did that, too. But uh, George Carlin has uh, been doing it for a very long time. I'd, I'd say 50 years. 50 years. And um, all I can say is thank you to him, and we, uh, we're certainly sorry to see him go. But he left a rich body of work behind, I'll tell you that. Anyway, just had to say that. An email I have received from a listener named Brian. Brian writes in and says, Dear Dad, I've noticed that just like women don't care about how they look for their husbands, they also don't care how old they are for their husbands. You often talk about how women get to uh, wait till they're about age 29. Then suddenly any date becomes their tag soulmate, as in tag your it, because she knows the party's over and the wild sex is over, too. Now that uh, the tread is worn off the tires and I love this phrase, it's like throwing a hot dog down the hall. Like throwing a hot dog through the Holland Tunnel. You know what I mean. Brian says, obviously, she'd rather use up her youth getting into exclusive parties or nightclubs, getting free dinners, free vacations, and various other things that, quote, dates, quote, boyfriends, and other various assorted sugar daddies will give them for free in return for the mere possibility of a quick one. But now that her well's drying up and she's fast approaching her expiration date, she doesn't seem to care about how her, quote, one true soulmate never got any of that. How she wasted all that on herself instead of allowing her future husband even a good 10 years or so of at least the memory of her as a hot young chick. All true, by the way. Brian says, Tom, women of old used to have something called a dowry, which was money that a woman's parents paid to a man in order to marry her. In many countries, this is still true. Today in America, I say that a woman's youth is her dowry. And they're spending it all on themselves while expecting us men to marry them after they're fairly worthless. What's more, they want to fast talk us into marriage, for which we're not compatible many times, and then say, quote, you have to work to make a good relationship. Just like you say when responding that it's the wrong relationship. And that is what I say, by the way. Anytime tells, somebody tells me I have to work at a relationship, I say, no, no, no. 
Not the right relationship. I don't have to compromise. And I don't have to work at it. If you have to work at a relationship or if you have to compromise all the time, you pick the wrong person. Maybe there's no person. Maybe there's no need for a relationship. But I will tell you this. If you find yourself having to work at it all the time or if you hear the phrase, we've got to talk at least once a day, you pick the wrong person. If you have to argue, if you have to find creative ways to compromise, you pick the wrong person. Brian says, specifically, if a woman wastes her youth slutting around, then it's obvious that she doesn't care much about her future husband, who has to settle up for some used-up hoe bag. <laughs> of course, they always excuse it by saying something like, well, then, I was young and foolish, now I know better. To which I respond, well, true, with age come wisdom, but I don't want to date my grandmother. Tom, I say that a fool and her youth are soon parted. Could you do a show about this, and not just about the women who do it, but about how selfish they are for wasting their youth on being sluts instead of on their future husband? And then after they so happily accepted all those free gifts and favors solely on account of their youth, they suddenly expect us not to care whether they're 18 or 80? This is just one more reason that a man should never marry, especially an American woman. That's from Brian. A lot of what Brian has to say makes sense. This is, uh, this is fairly evident when you read the online profiles that women post on websites like Match.com, Yahoo Personals, Adult Friend Finder, J Date, or their profiles on MySpace or Facebook. It's fairly obvious. The women who say, I've had my fun. Now it's time to settle down. It's like, why do I want to be the guy who carts you around after you've had all your fun? You know what? I want you to, to commit to not having any more fun after you've dated me. You see, after I have used up some of your youth and beauty, then try to sell it to somebody else on eBay, not me. You see what I'm saying? How about the women online who say things like, friends first. Now, that seems like a very simple phrase. What she's saying is she's not going to have sex with you for the first 47 dates. What she doesn't tell you is that the first 186 guys she went out with, she slept with on the first date. And now she wishes she got to know them first before she had sex with them because none of them call her anymore. But again, you slept with everybody else on the first date. Why do I have to be the one? who now has to pay for what you did with others in the past and the results you got. Friends first. Friends first, my ass. I got enough friends. Got plenty of pals. I don't need to go on Match.com to find you. The woman who's had all her fun and she wants to be friends first. Not to mention all the women who list their entire list of baggage in the process of looking for a date. Looking for someone who's not into head games. Someone who's not a liar. Someone who doesn't play around. Someone who's not a player. Somebody who's in good shape. No drug addicts. No alcoholics. Nobody who's going to beat me up. <laughs> Boy, that really sounds sexy when you read one of those profiles online. Love it. Love it. So uh, that's how Brian sees it. Brian sees it that uh, what women have to offer is their youth and their freshness and their beauty. And they parcel it out. They sell it off in order to get, you know, into nightclubs, walk right ahead of the line, free drinks, free trips, free mufflers when they walk into Midas Muffler and the guy says, oh, don't worry, you don't have to pay for that. And all the other things people do for women. And then when they're too old to get that kind of head-turning attention, then they say, oh, I've had my fun. Now it's time to settle down. And Poindexter, 
Tag, you're it. What do you think about that? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's the Tom Likas Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. So our listener has written in to say that women have their youth and they squander it away on getting freebies. They have sex when they're fresh and young with guys who give them things or guys who do things for them. And then later on, when they've spent it all, they come to you, Poindexter. They say, you know what? I'm ready to settle down. I'm done having fun. I've had my fun. I've done my partying. (laughs) What do you think about that? 1-800-5-800-TOM one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Richie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. So I think this guy's uh, got it backwards in a couple ways. First of all, he's assuming that that uh, that marriage is a good thing to begin with. He's he's angry at people for having sex with people before him. You should never be jealous of guys who you're who a girl has had sex with in the past. That's what made her so good at it. If she if she learned, it's not a matter of being uh, uh, jealous of it. I think it's a matter of the fact that they have essentially used up their youth and whatever uh, whatever innocence they may have had at one time, and the crow's feet start to kick in, and they're heading for uh, uh, the expiration date. And at this point, now they want to drag somebody in to pay all their bills, sire their children, and what have you. Right. Yeah. Certainly, but but even there, you see that like this guy's assuming that he's going to get caught in this in a trap like that. I mean, if you're not if you don't plan to get married, then you got nothing to worry about. And then also, like you know, uh, it's not having a lot that makes women you know you know fat and fugly, as you would say. It's not having a lot of sex. You know, people people who are promiscuous have a lot of sex, keep themselves in good shape. I don't I don't think that's always true, and I think many people do appear to have a couple of hundred thousand miles on the odometer. Sure, sure, yeah. Definitely. By the way, I have been with women. I want to tell you something. I understand where he's coming from. Because I have been with women in the past. In fact I've told this story before on the air, but I'll tell it to you. Mm-hmm. I have been with women in the past who frankly um, they'd done it all with many people. Sure. Seen it all, done it all, and what have you. And so um, I get with them, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm, I'm not a jealous guy. I don't care what she's done in the past. The fact that she's done anything with anyone means she'll do whatever I want. Right. And so I jump right in there, and I'm like, okay, let's do this. And the response is like, well, I've done it before, but if you want to do it, okay, go ahead. Oh, really? Yes. So it's not a matter of jealousy. I okay. don't care what you did with who. Don't right. come to me all jaded and at the same time expect me to have kids with you and pay your bills and tell me you're done partying. I had a relationship. I'm just going to say it. I had a relationship with somebody from Argentina. Mm-hmm. Good work. All right, and uh, she's a beautiful girl, and lots of people liked her, and uh, she used to tell me about how when she was in Argentina with her girls, oh, they'd be out all night. There were some parts of Buenos Aires, they'd be out all night long, all night, oh, clubbing and music and dancing and drinking, and oh, my God, they just had this great time. So when she and I went to Argentina together, every night we were there, did we go out at night to clubs? Did we go out and see music? Did we go out drinking, having a few okay. shots? Uh, did it. Yeah. No, we got there. We went and visited friends and family members over and over. Some of the same people four, five, six times in a three-week period. And I said to her, what happened all this night? Oh, well, that was back when I was, you know, available. Not mm-hmm. now. I've already done all that. Right. Why do we need to do that? Sure. It's like, why do I want to be here with you now? 
Why? I want you back. I want the partying you. I want the drinking you. I want the one who did irresponsible things at 4 o'clock in the morning that she lived to regret. I, I want to be the guy you live to regret. I don't want to be the guy who now is paying your bills. Mm -hmm. No interest in that. So it's not that I was jealous about what she'd done in the past. I just wanted it to continue. But it's these women who say, all right, I've had my fun. Now it's time to have a family or now it's time to settle down. Who wants that? I don't want right. to be that guy. I want to be the other. I want to be one of the guys she thinks about at night, late at night. One of the guys who treated her like crap. One of the guys who she broke up with 47 times and got back together with. I want to be with, I want to be that guy. Right. I, I don't. guess what I'm saying is that it, I, I think innocent overrated in women. Men like to be, oh, I was her first, or I, she's, you know, only had this many partners or whatever. And I just think that's a, that is fundamentally in the long term a really insecure situation to find yourself in because. You know, people are going to go through their wild period of visual. You got to get it out of your system. So, oh, but I don't. I, you know, I don't want to know you when it's out of your system. I want to know you when it's still in yeah, your system. Exactly. Be wild with me. Settle right. down with Poindexter. So you you understand the difference between being jealous and saying to yourself, "I don't care what you've done in the past. Let's keep doing it." Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly. And they know. say, "Oh no, no, I don't do that anymore." I don't stay out till dawn anymore. I don't go out drinking anymore. I don't go out to clubs anymore. What do I? Here's the. I've heard this phrase. Why do I need to do that anymore? Now I've got you. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for that. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a wonderful wonderful woman who you can who you can still go out and party with, you know. Well, and and the ones you can't, I have no use for them. Mm-hmm. You better be prepared to have fun with me. Right. If your plan is to settle down and end your wild days, I'm the wrong guy for you. Exactly. Uh, so you yeah, see, I, so you do see, it's not a matter of jealousy. Right, but you also see. I think this guy has a basic uh, presupposition that, well, you know, he's 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 talking about. I think the underlying thing there is that he is talking about wanting to get married, and he just. Uh, he, he wants someone who's innocent when they're married. When well, they're married I, I think what he wants, he wants somebody with their youth. Okay, well, yeah. Meaning we their good looks of, of youth. Meaning uh, their lack of being jaded. That kind of youth. Yeah, right, right. Uh, here, but here, here's, here's an interesting thing. I think, you know, if you look up, I, if you look up, uh, you know, what kind of people need, for instance, if you're talking about, uh, you know, middle-aged ladies, like, who needs vaginal rejuvenation, you know, like that sort of weird procedure. Those aren't the girls who have been out there having fun. Those are the girls who've been sitting alone, you know, drying up and not having any fun, you know. Well, you yes. Use the equipment. That's true. But uh, I would much rather be with the girls who are still having fun. Yeah, yeah. I sure. don't care if they're still having it with other people, too. That's fine. Just give me some of the fun. Yeah. Get me in on it. Do whatever you want with whoever you want. Just make sure I'm part of the package. Right. Wicked. All right, thanks, Tom. Can you, can you just blow me up? Yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Brett on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, good to talk to you. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I did get married before I caught on to your show. But I did pick the right girl that, you know, we both partied and had a lot of fun in the past. And she works in the hair industry. I work in the movie industry. And the thing I love is that she still keeps up with her freaky girlfriends and the gay guys that come over. And we all have a last and that's the thing i think about marriage is everyone needs to really think about it and we were married i'm married 15 years now we we're together four years before we committed to each other but she wanted to say i'm not going to put out and i had a, a string of girls and she knew i was banging and you know it's it's a hard if you want to make that commitment, you have to be honest with yourself. 
Yeah, yeah, you do. And, and the other person has to be. Because if you want to keep up that kind of lifestyle, um, it's not hard to do. But, yes, the, the, the writer was very right. And a lot of girls go, oh, now I'm not, you know, I've had my fun. And then you go, what's that all about? And she tried to pull that crap. And I straight out said, no, we're having fun or you're gone. And I didn't have any kids either. Wow. And she agreed to that. How did she react to all of this? Uh, abortions. Wow. I mean, but was she happy about that? Angry about that? No, she was content with it because I make a good living. And she knew that, you know, we were together and that's what I wanted. End of story. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to play any of those games. I do wish I would have listened to you earlier in your format back then. You didn't have well, to I wish you had too. And everything. I, you know what? I, I would, would not be married now. Yeah, well, a lot of people wouldn't be, and I'm sorry that you did get married, for God's sake. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. All right. So I'm just wondering why this guy's writing to you because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you're the guy who these uh, women are wasting their youth on. Am I right? That's exactly right. <laughs> So it's kind of like, you know, calling your ex-girlfriend when you got problems with your current girlfriend. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, I put it this way. What I do know about is how to get them before they go over that edge of saying, now I'm ready to settle down. Oh, well, this is true, but it doesn't sound like uh, that's what he's looking for. It looks like it sounds like he's looking to settle down. So, well, you know, he might be right to the guy who's wasting. Uh, oh, wasting I yeah, well, the younger. part you're right about, if he's looking to get married and he wants me to tell him how to get them before they hit their expiration date. Uh, I am the I'm the wrong guy to ask because I have no interest in buying the cow. You know, it's just like when, when I lease a car after I've dented and dinged it and run it over a few speed bumps. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to pay the balloon payment. I want to bring it back to the dealer and get a fresh new car. Absolutely. Start Sounds a new like lease. He's, uh, looking to end up with a beater. Hey, exactly. Well, that's what a lot of these guys end up with. They're they're, they're driving beaters. <laughs> All right, Tom, well, I just wanted to point that out. Thanks a lot. Good point, David. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm okay, Dave. You know, when is the sense of entitlement going to end for these women? You know, I know plenty of these women that went to Sky Bar and hung out and had a great time. They hit 32, and now they're like, oh, my gosh. Now i got to get married. i got to find somebody rich because I don't have a career. I have no education. I have no skills other than I can buy expensive shoes. That's a very good point. And uh, many of them have no education and have nothing else going for them because they were out till 2 a.m. every night for the past 12 years. Yeah, so when is the entitlement going to end? You know, then they want to get married so they can divorce you and take all your money, the money that you've earned, that you worked your butt off for, that, that you've put away, that you saved. It, it's just not uh, right. That's why I tell the guys don't buy when you can rent. Yeah, you know what they say, if it flies, floats, or Fs. You're better off renting it. You know who says that? The uh, guy who founded Maxim Magazine, and he's absolutely right. No, I mean, I, I hear it all the time. I have a friend who has an airplane. I've had four yachts. I mean, <laughs> I know. That's right. Yeah, blow me up old school, Tom. Here you go, baby. <laughs> Shannon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Shannon? Yes? Tom? Are you there? Are you there? I just, I just wanted to say that I don't understand why anyone would want to stop having fun. What sense does that make? Because many women are geared to having fun for a certain number of years, whether it be the years they go into college or the years they have a job or whatever, and then ultimately, quote unquote, settling down. Yeah, because I mean, it's like, would you go to a concert and say, "Oh, I'm having such a great time," and then halfway through the concert say, "Well, I've had enough." Women fun. do. If you don't believe me. Here's your homework assignment. I okay. want you to go to Match.com when you get to a computer. Uh-huh. Look at, if you've ever looked at Match.com, don't look at the part you usually look at. Do not look at uh, men seeking women. Look at women seeking men. Uh-huh. And see how often the phrase comes up that says, I've had my fun. 
And that's probably such a line of crap, too, Tom, because, you know, all those women that say they're, they're done having their fun, all they're going to do is latch on to some poor, unfortunate guy. And then when they're done not having their fun, they're going to divorce him and then go back to using his money to have their that's fun. That's my point. Isn't it ridiculous? I These are the women you <laughs> see in the gym all furiously working out trying to get back into shape. They're either not married yet or just getting divorced. <laughs> that's exactly right. You know, and then all, that's why you see all the women that are married, they're always fat, man. Well, think you're right about that. All right, Tom, take me out with the bong rip. Here it comes, Shannon. Can we all just get a bong? Sound like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Tom Holly, what's the Tom Likas show? At 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Oh, yes, we do. And um, we're talking about an email we received from a listener. His name is Brian. And Brian talks about how women essentially have as their dowry their youth. And then instead of spending it on their future husbands, they spend it on all the guys they need, all the guys who give them free stuff, all the hot guys they have sex with, whatever. And then when they are spent, that's when they say, okay, the jig is up. Now uh, now I want to settle down with you. And uh, he wonders why any man would want to uh, get that damaged goods, get the used merchandise like that. And I think it makes sense, don't you? I notice uh, very few women have an opinion about this subject. It's all guys. You would think the usual uh, chicks would call in and screech about this, but it's not happening. It's all guys. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's one 800 5800 Chad on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay, Chad. It's, it's funny you were talking about this. My uh, buddy and I were actually just having this exact conversation yesterday, and we were talking about how, I mean, there's some women that get it right. You know, they get married, and they're not afraid to slut it up for their husbands, you know, now and then. But an overwhelming majority of women, you know, they uh, they indulge in a lot of the, uh, the, the fun things that guys enjoy when they're younger. You know, I've had the uh, the opportunity of having a lot of uh, female friends, and they tell me about, yeah, you know, I tried threesomes, you know, doing two guys at one time, uh, another, uh, you know, time with another woman. And we were just saying, you know, we think that's why a lot of men also indulge in porn. I mean, in porn, you got a young, hot woman who's really into sex. And on the other hand, you have your wife who did all those things when she was younger, then reached a certain age where she was just like, you know what? That behavior just is not appropriate anymore. It's time for me to be a mom and a and a housekeeper. Right. And you have this whole generation of men now too that are just really apprehensive about marriage because they see other married couples, and and marriage it's not as much fun anymore. It's more it's doing the laundry. It's taking the kids to, to dental appointments and to soccer games and paying bills and. You know, it, it, and it's, constantly being told what you did wrong, what you didn't do enough of, exactly. critiquing how you did things and how you should have done things. Who wants that? I mean, well, you know, you're not knowing her past. I mean, if you're a, a friend of a female, you get to know all the dirty things she did. But if you're her future husband, she'll never tell you the things that she did in the past. And uh, you know, it, it's just, it, it's 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 really sad. And you know, it's. Uh, unfortunate, but I, I had the question I ended that conversation with was, why do people look at other people getting married with such admiration? It's like, hey, you're getting married, good for you, and it's like, why? You know, I yeah. don't see really anybody happy. You know, uh, a lot of people are getting a divorce. Uh, I see a lot of people just miserable, and you know, what you end up with basically is a woman who's you know a little bit out of shape. She's you know, after all that work during the day, is you know, end of the day in sweats and a frumpy t-shirt, and is just wanting to get to sleep. You know, but uh, that was, yeah, that was pretty much the conversation. And uh, hey, well, you take people out with a certain way. Um, there's a guy who calls the cops and says, is, is basically uh, confessing that he just killed his wife. And he, who is it? That's, I uh, yeah, Freddie Wilhite. That thing cracks me up. Man. You want to be taking out Freddie Wilhite style? Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me and she ridiculed me. 
throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? Yeah. I think she's dead. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Andrea on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? No, I just, I wasn't sure you said Andrea, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I, well, I, I'm already in my 40s, but I'm of the opinion that the girls need to educate themselves. And be able to take care of them, their own selves. I don't see why they want to get hooked up with the dude and then... They do. ...chance divorcing and having to take care of the kids on their own. I just don't understand but that. Because they, because they all expect they're going to get child support. They all expect they're going to get alimony. Yeah, but how many really rich dudes are out there being able to pay that? I mean, come well, on. Well, it does. They hook up with some Yahoo and then... I'm not know. saying <laughs> it makes sense. I'm saying that's how it is. Yeah, I know. I agree. And it's, you know, they need to have their own education. They need to be able to do their own thing. Many of these women think that uh, their vagina can attract a very wealthy individual uh, who they can take to the cleaners if things don't work out. Yeah, but don't they understand if you're going to get use your vagina that way, you're going to have to, you know... Do the things that the guy wants you to do sometimes? Well, well no. But, and by the way, they don't have to do it because once they get the guy to sign the contract, they can say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not yeah, going to do I this. Yeah. I, I married somebody one time who, after I married her, here's what she said to me. You know, I never did like sex in the morning. Oh, I think I heard you talking about this one Yeah, time. and I said to her, so well, why'd, you marry, me? why'd yeah. you marry me? She said, well, I didn't feel comfortable telling you before, but now that we're married, I feel comfortable <laughs> talking to you about this. Oh, my God. Well, a little wrong time, exactly. But, no, I think that the girls need to get educated. It's ridiculous, you know. I, I, I teach school, and I'm telling the girls that all the time, you know. Mm-hmm. Crazy. They're crazy. Yes, indeed. I, I, I never got married. I mean, not that I didn't plan my life to be that way. I thought I was going to be married, but I sure wasn't going to just hook up with anybody. No. Well, I just don't understand that. Well, darling, again, that's uh, you. Know, by the time women get to your age and know that much stuff, they have passed their expiration dates. That's well, how it works. I know. Well, and I guess I'm past my expiration, but I never have any problems. So. Well, I understand. Are you a cougar? No. A milf? Probably, but I'm not a mother. I never had kids. So, oh, really? I'm still just, you know, I have my same body build I always had. I've always been tall and thin, so that helps. Very nice. So anyway. All right, Andrea, thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Keontae on the Tom Likas show. Hello. hello. Yes. Hello. Are you going to ask me hello how many times? I'm going to ask you five times, Tom. <laughs> You're already well on your way. <laughs> I was calling in today to share my opinions with you. I've only listened to your show like a total of five times, and I kid you not, every single time I listen, which is only five times, you're always bashing on women. How so? You're always calling us used material. Only, no, 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 no. Only the ones who are used material. But I, I think that you would consider me used material, and I'll tell you why. Because I date. And I date because I do want to find a partner that I can eventually spend my life with. But unless I date and unless I find these opportunities, then I'll never be able to maybe have that perfect kind of marriage. But why would any guy want to be the one you settle down with? Because that guy, you're going to say, well, I've had my fun. Now it's time to get serious. Well, no, no, that's not the thing. I take my relationship seriously with everyone I encounter. I take it very very seriously because... I don't want to be that used person that this man does not want to eventually settle down with. But my whole thing is, like, I just, every time I call, you never have a positive opinion about marriage. I don't think that there's only negative. There's nothing good in, marriage. there's nothing good in marriage for men. Nothing. Nothing at all. No. You guys don't get joy out of having a family, out of raising kids. Actually, uh, but we we're happy to have you raise the kids. We'll send you a check if necessary. But that's about it. We don't want to live in the house with you. We don't want you telling us when to take the garbage out or when we're supposed to go to the Lamaze classes. We don't need a mother. Well, I just feel that I, in order for me to find a, a perfect marriage, I need to date. Now, because I'm dating, I don't find myself being a used kind of person. Do you think that that's me? I'm being used dating? Well, put it this way. Uh, you are uh, certainly uh, using up miles on your odometer as time goes on, and the odometer continues to click forward. 
eventually you are going to be a pre-owned uh, vehicle. And well, when you I are, guess I'm just going to keep using it, and then I'm going to go ahead and find that man, and I'm going to use him until he drives. Sure you will. Up. And I'm just going to be that stereotypical woman, I guess, that you're always I'm talking. sure you are. Because I feel like if men are not going to want to marry me by listening to your show, then I might as well be that woman that ruins their lives that you say that we are. But you do. see, then if the guys do what I say and boycott marriage, uh, then you can't do that to us. <laughs> Tom, I give up. I don't even have anything else to say to you. I just wanted to call in because you did mention females never call in about their opinions. And my opinion is I did not say the females never call in about their opinions. I said for this topic, women are not calling in. Exactly. But I called in because I think that you suck what you say about marriage. And it sucks that you're persuading all of these men all over the world who listen to your show to not want to... Get married. Well, I'm glad you're aware of our range and our reach of the fact that we're reaching now around the globe and that uh, we're having guys calling in from Colombia and Japan and all these other countries. I think it's fantastic. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. We're on the air, sister. <laughs> Bye, Tom. Jeez. Mouth like a sailor. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Um, what's up? Uh, the ratings last I looked. <laughs> I got turned on to this show from my boyfriend, actually, and I agree with so much of what you say, and I'm a girl, and I really don't want to get married now because of you, and he's fine with that, and I'm fine with that, and we're both about 25 years old, so, I mean, as long as we have fun together, then it's great. Um, I just had an opinion of what the subject is, and I just think that girls when they say that they're going to stop partying because they're done with it is because they can't party anymore i mean who wants to go to a club and see a 32 year old hag trying to pick up on young guys when they're 18 19 yeah but like what, i think what our letter writer is saying is maybe you ought to quit a couple of years ahead of the expiration date so you have an opportunity to marry a guy and give him a little piece of your youth instead of parceling out to all these guys you'll never see or talk to again yeah, exactly. But I'm just like, of course they're going to stop partying. I mean, why would you want to go to a party if no one's going to give you any attention? Then they have to latch on to some poor guy and try to get affection that way and marry him. So I just thought it was ridiculous when I was listening to this. Like, that one girl who just called also was, I think, ridiculous. But I love your show, Tom, and I hope you keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Bye, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Todd. How you doing? Great. Listen, since 05, since my buddy turned me on after my wife left me a Dear John letter and cleaned out my apartment. Beautiful. My life's never been better. Of course, I'm not dating yet because I kind of still... Uh, I have a bitter taste in my mouth, but brother, I wish I knew you back, way back. So do I. <laughs> I, I just want to thank you for everything you do and, uh, you know, keep keep spreading the faith because there really isn't any reason for a guy to get married. I, I got 10 more months of alimony um, and, and then I'm done. Don't make the same mistake again, for God's sake. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station.